foolish mortals, tis I cat, this is Tom. Tom say hello, he won't say hello. Well now that you told me to, I don't have to now. <laughs> I have to add some kind of thing. Anyway, uh we're doing again another ten minute challenge. You're gonna get sick of these videos, you I know you guys will, but I need fluff. Um anyway, this one is uh Tom, what is the theme? I'm going with hand hams. As in, the lovely, adorable anime from the early 2000s, Hentaro! A show that I watched a lot when I was a kid, and I've done a video with Ham Hams before, and Tom was in it! Y'all remember Ham Thulu? Link in the description. <laughs> like, I'm gonna do that. Anyway, so we've. Our, since there's so many Ham Hams, we just went ahead and looked for the Ham Ham we were gonna draw. Tom will be doing one from the Japanese anime that never came in America. I, on the other hand, will pick one that will actually was in America, but instead of picking the actual Hamtaro, because technically I used Hamtaro as a reference for Hamthulu. That, and I mean, it's Hamtaro. No one likes it. He already has the title, the theme song, and the songs in the anime itself after him. He doesn't need any more love. Besides the whole second next babies thing. I decided to pick one of the lesser love, but still ever so adorable, Penelope. Who I thought would be easy to draw in five, in ten minutes. <laughs> I actually decided to go with uh, Beret. I'm gonna need a link to her, a picture of her, so I can put her in the corner of my video, so everyone would be like, "This is her." Oh, you'll get one. Don't worry. Okay, don't worry. Anyway, so uh, uh, for uh, for Lena's turn, Beret is a uh, Seymour girl. And Seymour is a swimming hamster. Hamsters can. Hamsters can't swim. I'm sure it makes sense in the anime when he, when he exists, but as far as I know, it's never explained because I only knew him from Han and Heartbreak. He's planning a video game a video game series on YouTube, all based on the Hamtaro games. I'm gonna be a guest on one of those. Yay! He might be it. it might be the only guest I get for that. I don't think I'll be doing that. all the guesting. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, you haven't appeared on my channel yet, so... No, I haven't. You haven't appeared on my... No, wait, you have. A lot of times. Hey, wait a second. You just said I was in your... <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm a derp. And you've been in a few others. You were on the Swaddle video, when you... which started up as nothing else, and then you said the phrase, Swaddle has balls on his head. <laughs> like having ball chins on her head. Yeah. Oh, uh, the memories. Anyway, let's get to work, everybody. Yeah. Three, two, two one, one, go. go. <laughs> Tom, ham hands are nothing but circles. I know, but I don't have to waste five minutes drawing one now. Yes, because Tom decided to draw, is now practicing drawing ovals. Uh, and it's more than just circles this time, too. It's like, oh, like, the thing is, like, I shake, so... Drawing straight lines is very hard about the shift, and it can't really get away with that when you're drawing circles without making uh, angular circles. That's why I do this sketchy art style. <laughs> You've seen it. Yeah. Like, my, the, my actual drawings, when they're done, do look a lot better than these do. Like, I'm not bad. I mean, I'm still pretty shit, but... It the, the takes whole... him a while. Yeah, I I like I take a couple of weeks on it just because I have a uh mo I have a staying power issue when it comes to drawing. Cause again, drawing is not something I enjoy doing. I draw because it exists, and that was the only way way my former friend would pay attention to me. I loved art class in school. We only had it once a week when I was in elementary school, and I always looked forward to that day. Well, it's because elementary school schedules don't work like normal schedules. Of course, it would only happen once a week. No, I love art class. I, I like media arts class. That's one of my favorites. Art, digital design, computer arts. When I went to uh, music and movie making. That's where my fun really happened. I hated typing class. It's a required class for if you wanted to graduate high school. And I had to take it again when I was in digital design because you're required to learn this stuff. And I was, and I, one, when I had 
taken it the first time. I took it like three, t took typing three times. Once in uh, middle school, once in element, once in high school, and then once again in digital design. And I hate when I was in tech school, and I hated it every time. Because I knew how to type, and I could type pretty fast. I just couldn't spell that well. Spell check was a thing. Yeah, my problem is that because, uh, again, because I shake. Yeah. Uh, and they don't let you look at your hands when you type in. Oh, so I you... hated that. Did they put the box cover over your hands? Yeah. I hated uh, that. Eventually, I realized it didn't work for me, so I actually ended up blindfold, blindfolding me for an exam. Not a joke. <laughs> and how are you supposed to read the screen? I couldn't. That makes no sense, because I always push. You're supposed to look at your screen, not your hands. And I'm sitting here going... Okay. Yeah, um, let's just say, uh, there wasn't a single word on that paper, and I was done. Yeah. I am Penelope, I am a weirdo. To be fair, though, it looks better than some of my drawings I've done tonight, though. Yeah. Come on, Bree. on how many times I sneezed in this video. Why what is you... wrong with you? <laughs> I was to say, why are you placing bets on how many times I will sneeze in this video? I haven't sneezed in any of my previous ones. I need to expand that canvas a little bit. I need to expand your... <laughs> Never mind. What? Nothing! What? <laughs> what? <laughs> I need an adult. I am an adult. Nope. I have a little baby bumblebee. Won't my mommy be so proud of me? I have a little baby bumblebee. Ouch! It stung me. Quick, someone give me an EpiPen. I'm dying of aphylactic shock over here. Oh, Tom's dead now. I've been dead. Where have you been? In my in my restless dreams, I dream of this place. A place that had Silent Hill freaking the new Silent Hill game. <clears throat> what? I'm not better. No, no. I mean, why would you? Not that I was going to be a, a match made in hell. A good <clears throat> hell. Please don't. Done already? Four no, minutes tree, fifty-three. Tree's done. I've been like a Mabinobi. Oh, I was about to say. Oh yeah, you're playing Mabinobi. I have not played Mabinobi today. Yeah. It's too busy doing. Sure. My, uh, what? Gotta make sure I get all my tree stuff. Yes. I'm already very backed up now. I'm too busy trying to do my uh portfolio for March, May. A friend of mine was helping me, and they were really helpful. You know, if you don't fill in the eyes of Penelope, it looks like some weird, creepy thing. If you don't fill the eyes of any of the hand hands, it looks like a weird, creepy thing. I don't know why, but I want to keep it like that just to scare you. Trust me, you cannot scare me any worse than my own drawings have tonight. You ruined the crab. But then again, I mean, what do you expect? I was given five minutes. Hey, we didn't know it was going to take you five minutes just to draw a circle. Yeah, we'll have to, we'll have to inform Shrubby of the rule change. Yeah, we've informed Shrub. We'll be informing Shrub and being like, okay, rule change. It's now ten minutes because it took him five to draw a circle! Circles, man! Circles, soldier! That's our new meme. To be fair, Shrubby does the same thing with circles. Yeah, it took me... I'm also drawing with a mouse, too, remember? Yeah. It, it's a lot harder for me. Uh, to as a person who formerly drew with a mouse, I know your pain. This looks like something out of a horror movie. Silent Hand 3. I 
and pyramid ham. Oh, I got a new thing to draw now. Someone was like, are you going to make another ham thing, like Ham Zulu? I'm like, I don't know. I would kind of like to see that, even being someone who's not familiar too much with the Silent Hill franchise. Seeing something adorable drawn in the Silent Hill franchise. There used to be a thing, there used to be this thing where people would draw Silent Hill, like, uh, Silent Hill universe for, you know, like, they would take a fandom and put it into the Silent Hill verse or take a character and imagine what their Silent Hill would be. Because Silent Hill is basically customized to each person and each monster represents some problem with it that they have in their mentality. Everyone who gets stuck in Silent Hill, be it a trucker that throws TVs or people that live in hotel rooms. Yeah, that one was originally a different game, but they decided to put Silent Hill on it. Remember, posted no joke. Still lives in a hotel room, though. Well, I live in an apartment room out of that hotel room. He lives in an apartment complex. And God, some fans think he's hot, and I'm sitting here going, uh-huh. How is a guy that has no character hot? Well, Dude, I could Look make... at his dialogue again. He has no character. I, I, I could say the same thing about how so many celebrities are considered hot, but yet they have, like, zero personality, but I'm not, I'm not, no. Uh, uh, no. I ain't touching that with a 20-foot pole, because I already got attacked by when I, I made my opinion during, during when Super Hulock was a thing, and I got attacked. I do not want to go through that again, please. Thank you. Your opinion's not there anymore. Your opinion's not their opinion, then you have a bad opinion. Yep. I don't know, keeping this black and white and creepy is like, this is this is the evil ghost T, Penelope. I'm still, I'm still, uh, probably still commenting on my alpaca. What is she commenting on? Just like, it's a very weird. This is like make it that make out of mind that your drawing and your doodles are very different. Like yeah. Thirty four seconds, by the way. No, I finished coloring in the eyes. And by coloring in the eyes, I mean I gotta do that one part of your eyes that's like you know, different. It's like the classic shape. I'm just making horror now, so um, I'm turning something that's cute and adorable and loved by many into. It's kind of weird, because yesterday I gave Shrubby a drawing idea, and now you've got one from me. Silent Ham? The silent Ham. <laughs> Pyramid Ham, coming to you in a theater near you. Time's up! Uh, let me at least finish the, the, uh... Let me just finish coloring her crotch. This just looks like something I would actually sell. I am the creepy ghost. Buy me. Please. Now this is when I certainly get a cease and desist by the Hamtaro creators going, you are ruining our Hamtaro creators. I'm going, I'm just drawing hamsters, yo. If anyone's ruining anything, it's me. Yeah, you're the one who came up with the idea of silent freaking ham. Come on, don't knock it. You haven't tried it. Yeah, my question is, how the heck am, how am I supposed to do bobblehead nurses in ham-ham form? I'm not going to draw boobs on mer nurses. I'm not drawing boobs on hamsters. Yeah. Then they would be lower on the body. And there'd be six yeah. of them. Yes. Listen, if I'm going to be doing boobs on an animal, I do them anatomically correct, buddy. Yeah, I mean, I did that too. Some of them. This is the creepiest little character I've ever made, and I love it. <laughs> okay, it's not the creepiest little character that I've made, but it's so creepy, and I love it. So, all I managed to do was a face. Alright. Let's see, Silent Ham. Oh, that chick. Yeah. Okay, those eyes are creepy. I didn't have. Look, I don't have. I didn't use my layer. I didn't use my. I don't use my layers when I do doodles because I don't care about them. All right, Tom's ham ham. All right, 
now Tom gets to see my ham. All right. <laughs> see, that's good. I like that. That's fine. It's scary. Oh, kind of looks like a kind of looks like a, a Halloween costume now for the dude. It's a creepy pasta about the ham tar about him Taro. Penelope's actually not enough, dead. Not enough, not enough, uh, not enough DXE or not enough blood or more importantly, not enough of. It was a normal one summer day. It's a normal one. Until I opened the fridge. I knew this would be a bad day when I saw the milk coming back. <laughs> Which I believe originally I was going to draw, like, there's this funny gift that's around that has, like, a post his note angry eyebrows. <laughs> but then when I just looked at this thing, I was like, no, make the creepy ghost. Yes, behold, ham ham exe. Hamtaro.exe. <laughs> you play one of the Hamtaro games, it's actually haunted. <laughs> Penelope <laughs> comes and eats your soul. Tom, work on a story. We're gonna post it on the we're gonna post it on the Creepypasta website. Dude, you tell me to authorize something and I can do that. I can author, man. Drawing I can't do, but I can write a story. Then write one with a Penelope! <laughs> a creepy Penelope in a haunted Hamtaro game. Dude, if you give me some time, I can do that. <laughs> then we'll just post it on all the creepy pasta websites. We'll be famous. Well, I don't want it there. Dude, that's how creepy pasta starts. I, I don't want it to be a big thing. We'll be bigger than Slender Man. It's Slender Ham. <laughs> Look, I'll, I'll, I'll write you a story, but I don't want you going too crazy with it. All right. I must I have power. To have, I could try to have it finished you. For you tomorrow night, by tomorrow night. Yes. Also, I'm gonna wake up tomorrow. Slender ham. I gotta write these down. Please do. I, t I tell Shelly to do that too whenever I she or I see the next video again. Anyway, everybody, thank you for watching. I still want to do this again. Yes, I do too. Bye.